Got milk? Well, there was a time when the milkman was the was as common as the mail carrier. A Minnetrista man is going all out to make sure people never forget that. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lauritsen shows us how Bill Ewald single-handedly preserved his family's 97-year history of milk deliveries. It seems like a relatively new concept. Getting groceries and other knickknacks delivered right to your front door. But long before Amazon and Target shipped, there were the Ewald brothers. We would bring it right to your home and install it in your refrigerator if you want it. That was 70 plus years ago. Today, Bill Ewald is more than happy to make a delivery down memory lane. His great grandfather, Chris, started Ewald Brothers Dairy in 1886 after arriving in Minneapolis from Denmark. At 16 years old, my great grandfather took the family savings, all of it, and bought a horse and an existing milk route, one milk wagon and one horse. With that, he built an empire. He learned to speak English on his routes while delivering milk and dairy products in all kinds of Minnesota weather. In 1920, the Ewalds built a creamery. Before there was Theodore Worth Park, as we know it today, you guys were on that property. Correct. Yes, yeah, 700 acres of what you see here is what is now Theodore Worth Park. By the 50s and 60s, the Ewalds were the biggest delivery service in the Midwest, delivering to two out of three homes in Minneapolis. Their golden goose was Golden Guernsey Milk. They were the first to put milkmen in uniforms and among the first to find the value in advertising, from signs and promotions to radio, like this 1966 spot from WCCO's Charlie Boone. Ewalds, thick, creamy, non-alcoholic eggnog. Bill's grandpa Ray even took pride in using both Governor Luther Youngdahl, a Republican, and Minneapolis Mayor Hubert Humphrey, a Democrat, in his advertising. Proof that milk is bipartisan. Now, in many cases, there are three generation milkmen. So as the grandfather would retire, the son may take over. But as supermarkets emerged, the business began to dry up. By the early 80s, it had ended for the Ewalds, though the hunt was just beginning for Bill. It's like a Minnesota milk museum. Yeah, it is. I, I believe it's the largest. <laughs> he spent the past 40 years searching for his family's collectibles. What he's put together in his basement is just a fraction of what he's found. To recapture the past, Bill also spent two years building a model of the Ewald Creamery. We trucked this over to the state fair. It, it did earn a, a blue ribbon and an $8 first prize. And we've got the uncashed check still hanging here. The goal with all of this is to remind people that things really do come full circle. In their later years, the Ewalds also delivered laundry detergent, soap, and candy. Sound familiar? 50 plus men and women really drove the business. They were the face of the dairy when they took that bottle of milk to the consumer. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Bill wrote a book about Ewald Brothers Dairy with 100% of the proceeds going to Minneapolis-based therapeutic care centers for children. For more on the history of the creamery and milk delivery service, visit WCCO.com links.